Now I go back to the browser. When I enter my login credentials, I mean my email and password and hit the login button. The two values, I mean my email and password must be sent to the server to be checked against the data inside the database. The only way we can send our requests from client to server is via the HTTP protocol. So now we are going to learn how to send our login credentials from the browser to the server or to the PHP script. Now I go back to the code and inside the server underscore pages, I create a new PHP file and I call it server.php. And for the time being, I just created PHP tags here and I leave it empty and close the file. Also, I close some of these files. Now, inside the app.js, when a login function is called, an HTTP request must be created. In AngularJS, using the $HTTP built-in service, we can create HTTP requests and using that service, we can send our request from the client or browser to the server. And also, if we want, we can create our own services in AngularJS to make the application maintainable and testable. So now, I'm going to create a new file inside a scripts folder and I call it services.js. Now, this file must be included inside the index.php. I copy this line of code and paste it and write the name of the new AngularJS that I have recently created. And here, inside the app, I copy this variable and paste it inside the services.js file. And on this variable, now I am going to create my own service. In AngularJS, we can create services in two ways, either using the factory method or the service method. So now I'm going to use the factory method, which in here takes two parameters. I say application.factory. The first parameter is the name of the service. I call it, for example, HTTP. And the second parameter is an anonymous function. And here, as a parameter to this anonymous function, I use the $HTTP built-in service of AngularJS. Now, I'm going to create a variable whose value is going to be the address of the server.php file that I have just created. You know that it resides inside a server and a record pages folder. And I mean this server.php file. Okay, I close it. This service is going to return an associative array. Here, I say that it returns an array, return an array, whose first member is post and its value is going to be an anonymous function. Okay, this function takes a parameter and I call it form data. And inside the body of this function, first of all, I'm going to create a request variable and I initialize it to $HTTP. And here I write the configuration of the request. The method is going to be post and the URL is going to be the base URL that I have created above and the data which is going to be sent to the server is the form data which comes as a parameter to this function. And this function returns just this request variable. So using this post function, we are just going to create our request. This function does not do anything else. Now, I'm going to create a second member for this associative array and I call it send. Send is going to be a function and it takes two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the request and the second parameter is the callback function. I've forgotten to write the request parameter. 
inside the body of this function I'm going to call the then function of jQuery on the request object and this then takes as a parameter an anonymous function and this anonymous function takes a parameter that is the response which comes from the server and inside the body of this function I'm going to call the callback function along with the response which comes from the server and if there is an error I mean while sending the request from the client to the server that error must be displayed for the time being in an alert or using an alert inside the body of this anonymous function I'm going to use the alert function to alert or display the message which comes from the server as an error message.